Hello and welcome to the section 5.5 application walkthrough. In this application we're going to be practicing writing some standard form equations and graphing them also. So I will kind of help you set up what the equations will look like and you'll just have to fill in the parts that, that you uh, have to fill in to complete the problems. So let's go and look at the first problem. Or Real quick let's remind ourselves what standard form looks like. We're going to have AX plus BY equals C okay and so in the first problem we're in a barbecue and it says here that you're in charge of buying the hamburger and chicken breasts for a barbecue hamburger costs two dollars per pound and chicken press chicken breasts cost three dollars per pound and you have thirty dollars to spend okay um, it says on a hint here or let's read the problem I guess Write a, write a standard form equation that models the amount of hamburger and chicken that you can buy. And it says let X be the amount of hamburger that you can buy. So if I look at this and I'm kind of trying to model it after this standard form general equation, I'm going to have the, uh, the, cost per or the cost per hamburger pound. So cost of hamburger. times this will be the number of pounds of hamburger and so that'll be the number of pounds that you buy uh, plus the cost <coughs> of chicken times the number of pounds Of chicken and all that is going to be equal to you know I would write it over here but I did run out of room but that'll be equal to the total cost okay now these two cost of burger and cost of chicken and that's per pound so that'll also be per pound Okay, these three things here that I've underlined are things that you know for this problem. Okay, so you're going to fill those things in. The other two, the number of pounds of burger and the number of pounds of chicken, are going to be your X and Y variables. Okay, so you're going to use the stuff that you know now to write the equation. After you write that equation, you're going to graph it on this graph over here. And those are all things that we've worked on, so I think you can do that. Let's look at number two. Okay, the problem is about hot and ready. Okay, I'm going to Little Cedar and Little Caesars uh, to buy pizza for the lineman film session that I have every Monday. You know, sometimes I get sometimes I get lazy and just buy them hamb or buy them pizza. Uh, other other nights, you know, maybe I'll cook something for them and give them a real meal. But on the times that you know I do get lazy or have a bunch of stuff to do, I just have to buy them pizza. So I'm going to buy some sort of combination of pepperoni pizzas and sausage pizzas. Okay, so some of them will just be pepperoni, some, are, some of them are just sausage. So pepperoni pizza costs $5 and sausage pizza, pizza costs $8. And I have $120 to spend on the total pizza bill. So again, we're going to write an equation. Uh, write an equation that models the number of pepperoni pizzas and sausage pizzas that I can buy. Now to do this it's very similar to the problem up above uh, and the hint here says let X be the number of pepperoni pizzas that I buy. So the first thing that we're going to have is the cost of pepperoni times the number of pepperoni plus the cost of sausage times the number of sausage and that's going to equal the total cost 
And just like in the last problem, you know these three numbers, okay? And you can fill those in, and the other two are going to be your x and y variables, okay? After that, you want to go straight to graphing the equation, okay? You want to graph next. And then using the graph, you're going to find the most even split of sausage pizzas and pepperoni pizzas that I can buy. Keep in mind that I'm not going to buy half a pizza, okay? I'm not going to do any splits, so I want whole number answers on part C, okay? So after you've done that, uh, good job, and good luck on the Mastery Challenge. If you have any questions, remember, always ask, and good luck on the test that's coming up.